Hey guys, I wanted to show you the view. It's so beautiful. I just finished praying my namaz. Look at this. I can't see what you're saying, but I'm just holding the phone. Um, yeah, anyway, so I just wanted to... I'm, I'm trying to see myself because it's so sunny here. Yeah, so, you know, just... I am always grateful for everything. I know there are times where we get sad and stuff like that, but you know, that's just life. What are you gonna do, right? So just be happy as much as you can and focus on yourself. That's what I do. I know sometimes it sounds like it's selfish, but you really have to. So I'm actually here online because I have a true story that I want to share with you. And it happens to me a lot, but when it happened yesterday in Florida, I was like, oh my God, like nobody's going to believe this. I do have a picture that I took at the end to prove it to you guys, but I don't really need to prove anything to anybody. But so the thing is that ever since I was little, I've had these premonitions or these intuitions and you know, sometimes I follow them and sometimes I don't. I see things in my dream, Alhamdulillah, and they always come true and long story short somebody told me that when i turn 40 it's going to become even stronger and i just kind of ignored it at the time and you know since the last couple of years it's become very profound and it's to the point where just ignoring it is not even possible like even if i say okay forget it i will get that feeling again and again don't forget it and it doesn't necessarily have to be anything like major or like you know something like life sa life saving it's just just to listen to your intuition so if you get that gut feeling and that intu intuition it's because something is telling you to do something and you have to follow it and when you ignore it you will have consequences that later you might not like and if you do what you want other people will have consequences but you should be happy with what you like to do anyway so let's just make this quick um so i'm in florida and yesterday i was taking my daughter to the mall for her sweet 16 i said let's go shopping and you know we were in an uber and all of a sudden while in the uber in the middle of the street i see these two women crossing the street one of them had blonde hair and she had this really gorgeous haircut it was like short and kind of choppy but it was just it was beautiful you know and i'm a new yorker so i usually just say whatever i want to anybody like hey your hair is gorgeous so i thought about rolling the window down and letting her know oh my gosh girl that haircut is awesome but then i was like you know i'm in an uber i'm in florida she doesn't know me she's gonna be like whoa who's that weirdo so i just i didn't bother saying it but after i didn't say it i said it to myself i said why didn't you say it? you should have just rolled on the window and told her because you know i love complimenting women you don't know if that could have made her day or maybe she needed it or whatever the reason was i was supposed to give her that compliment i was told that i'm supposed to give it to her but i didn't do it so i let it go it was something minute i'm like whatever you know it's trivial let's just move on i get to the mall i'm shopping around and uh, my daughter wanted to go to, uh, I can't remember the name of the store, like I think it's called Arab Pastel or something. So we buy her like a flannel and I walk out of that store and I swear to you, lo and behold, there is that woman standing mid-center right in front of the store. And I totally dropped my jaw. I was like, <gasps> and she's looking at me. She's like, excuse me, do I know you? I'm like, I can't believe this. I said, I just saw you like, 15 20 minutes ago in the middle of the street trying to cross the street while i was in an uber and i wanted to roll down the window and tell you that your haircut is freaking awesome but then i was just i didn't bother and i didn't do it i didn't listen to my intuition and now you're all the way here right in front of the store so that i can tell you again and get the second chance like you know what your hair is gorgeous you know and she's like oh my god that is so funny i said you were with another blonde girl and she's like, yeah, that was my daughter. So she called her daughter out of the store that her daughter was in. And they're like, oh my God, we can't believe this. We can't believe this. And my daughter was shocked. And it was just like, of all the things that you would think can happen, it's really not a coincidence. This is just the universe telling me that when I think of something, I'm on the right path. I'm following my intuition. And it's just validating that I should follow my intuition more often. And that, 
maybe the universe loves me you know so, like, i don't know but it's not like these things happen like very little to me they happen a lot and when i say a lot i mean like a lot a lot so i just kind of feel like i don't know i feel like that you know you don't have to be like some famous person for the universe to love you like you can just you can just be a good-hearted pure person and you know it's funny because my prayers they always come true mashallah like you know and i'm praying for my health and i'm sure it'll be okay sooner than later i'm just a little worried but inshallah it'll be okay but everybody else i pray for i'm telling you every single time like it always comes true like all the time so i'm just like wow yesterday was such a beautiful validation of my life and the love that god has for me and stuff and i just i wanted to share it i was like you know there's probably people in this world that think like god is not listening but he's always listening like and sometimes you just have to believe it you don't always have to find out but then there's these you know synchronization that happens in this world that you do end up finding out and I just thought it was a small miracle. And these are the little things that matter in life. Life is short. There is no point in arguing with people. And if, if things don't make sense, you just, you know, shoot it away and move on with your life because God has beautiful plans for you. So don't get distraught into something that just doesn't make sense, you know, and like get all tangled up in the web when you have a bigger purpose in life. I just... That's what I feel. So I'm trying to find my purpose. I, I love helping women. And I think that, you know, helping other people that have suffered through pain like I have. And I'm just very raw when I speak. And I just, that's, I think that's my talent. Honestly, you don't have to be like a football player or like a championship in the Olympics. You can have an ordinary talent, but just be really good at it. And just be very satisfied be, with being extraordinarily ordinary do you know what i mean like you don't have to be sad that you're ordinary it's a beautiful thing to be ordinary so many are underprivileged but anyway that's kind of going on tangent but so yeah oh it's really hot here but i want to show you the view one more time let me show you the view guys look at that mashallah so blessed we celebrated our sweet 16 here we just set up had a little party i'll post my pictures later and it's super hot, so I think I'm gonna go back inside and have some breakfast, but I just wanted to pray. So I've been praying on the towel here with my Versace skirt. That's okay. Yeah, so if you have a gut feeling, follow it. I'll talk to you guys later. Ta-ta from Manila K. Love you, bye.